Hi guys and welcome to another teardown video. Today we're going to take a look at Gateron optical switches. I've previously covered Utamu's opto switches before which look very similar and I've read reports that they're interchangeable with Gateron optos but they work a little bit differently. Now, although optoelectric switches are not unheard of in the keyboard scene, what's very uncommon about these is that they're available in linear, tactile and clicky versions, whereas a lot of contactless switches are linear only. And the reason for that is very simple. The whole point of contactlessness is, of course, to prevent friction of the slider interacting with the rest of the switch. But it's not very easy to design a tactile or clicky switch that doesn't rub against something to cause a tactile bump and or sound. There are examples that I've covered on previous teardown videos which are extremely ingenious but none of them are mainstream. The linear version is the simplest as you would imagine, it's just a slider moving on a coil spring which physically interposes itself between the LED and photoresistor in a shutter that's jutting out the bottom of the switch. Because the optical components are held PCB side, the switch itself is exceedingly simple. It's just a moving slider that doesn't even directly interact with anything. It's just a light blocker. The linears work the same for both Utamu and Gatorons. Now the tactiles are a bit more complicated. Normally in MX type contact based switches, the tactility is derived from a notch carved into the slider, which means you get a disruption in the linearity of the camming action that the switch action is based on. The cams that hold the contacts open are just molded into a different shape, so it's very easy to derive this tactility. But because a contactless switch, by definition, has no contacts to rub against, this method doesn't apply for optoelectric switches. So the way they did it here is to add some fake contacts, notice the lack of contact pins at the bottom, that aren't connected to anything and just make the slider rub against that, just like a standard MX switch. You can probably see why not many contactless switches are made in tactile versions because kind of the whole point of contactlessness is lost in this manner. I don't have an Utamu one to compare but based on some pictures of them I think they work differently. The clicky ones are the most interesting in my opinion. Quite often these are the most innovative designs from a technical perspective because they present an opportunity to use a new mechanism that offers superior performance compared to a standard issue click jacket. Companies have tried all sorts of things to make clickers. Utamu went for a snap action spring for example and Razer went for a rotating click bolt in their opto switches. In this case I almost missed it due to the tiny size of the working part. It's a minuscule click leaf held in the lower left corner of the switch in a tiny recess. This gives a completely different feel than the snap action spring that the Utamu one uses as well as that of Cherry MX type click jackets. This is much more like an Alps switch which also uses a click leaf. Now Alps leaves are vastly bigger in size so the feel and especially sound isn't really the same but click leaves tend to give a very sharp and defined tactile event and despite the diminutive size this is still the case here. Bizarrely, even though the slide has a cam on one side, this is not the side that interacts with the click leaf. In fact, this doesn't appear to interact with anything at all, so I'm not sure why it's there. The linear version has it as well, by the way. The tactile one uses two cams that look different. They're basically the same as MX Brown, notched ones. It's perhaps also worth mentioning that the tactile and linear versions are factory lubed, but the clicky one is not. Now that's not so weird, lubing clicky switches isn't great practice as it interferes with the sound so this is often foregone. Matthias did the same and Cherry left the lube out of MX White to create MX Blue as well for example. Overall these switches are very simple and have a low parts count, just 4 for the linear version, 2 parts housing, a coil spring and a slider, while the tactile and clicky ones have one additional part each in the form of the fake contact and the click leaf respectively. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode.